If you want to start a war in deer camp, talk about that little thing. Talk about broadheads and what type. What's the best broadhead I should shoot? I won't take that bait anymore because I know it's a very personal choice, especially for seasoned bow hunters. If you're not a seasoned bow hunter and you're wondering, I say test them out of your crossbow. See what shoots best for you and then go with one that you think suits your style of hunting. That's the best answer. Doesn't matter what type of broadhead you use, it needs to be razor scary sharp. When you pull that thing out of the quiver, it should scare you that if you cut yourself, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Just like a deer is going to be in a world of hurt if you put it in the deer. Shot placement, cr critical. That trumps everything else. Shot placement. Doesn't matter what type of broadhead you shoot. But with expandables, they do have many benefits. Number one, that cutting diameter. It's enormous. I mean, basically, and even the advertised cutting diameters are not what you're going to receive when you shoot a deer. Because if that deer's angled a little bit, it's going to be bigger. So how you kill a deer through bow hunting with a regular bow or a crossbow is through hemorrhaging. Massive hemorrhaging is what's going to cause quick death. With expandables, also, for me, the key is accuracy. Out of a high-speed crossbow, I have not found anything more accurate. That's me. That, I'm not saying that's you or anybody else. For me, highly accurate and highly repeatable accuracy, which is critical, especially if you're shooting farther distances. You get to 30, 40, even 50 yards, that repeatability and accuracy is going to be something that's flying like a field point coming out of there. Make the decision for yourself what you think is going to work for you. Insist on proper shot placement. If you don't have it, don't take the shot and make sure that thing is scary sharp.